Hey everyone and welcome back to Tim's Creepy Art. So today I received a package from the uh, art store in Botany in Sydney. This is probably like the best art store in all of New South Wales in my opinion. Um, this is the first time I've bought anything from them. I've heard nothing but great things about them. So, you know, we're just going to open this box and, you know, we'll just see what I bought. And, uh, yeah, it'll just be like another haul video. But first, um, unfortunately, I opened this because I was planning, I bought this specifically for a video. So, there used to be an art shop in Sydney called Riot Art Studio, um, called Riot Arts and Craft. Um, so I bought just two paintbrushes, Bob Ross ones, because I just like the Bob Ross brand and all that sort of stuff. And of course, an absolutely gigantic paint palette, which, you know, is just huge. And it's a clear plastic one, which is perfect. So I am really happy with this purchase of mine. And um, yeah, but without any further ado, we'll get into the main event. So first things first, we're going to need to get a couple of things. Not really, just one. So, a knife. First things first, you want to cut away from yourself. Yeah. Because I've had a bad experience. Look at my thumb there, from not cutting properly. So, you know, just one of those things you learn when you're a teenager that you take on into your adult life. Okay. Perfect. It's all open. They sent me a little card. That is uh, pretty awesome. I like that a lot. Okay, so open up. You know, um, the first thing first is a crap ton of paper. So we'll just put that to the ground. I'll clean that up soon. So, first I bought a sketchbook. Something small, something I can just like pop in my pocket and rip it out and you know, draw on it when I want to. So that's quite a good brand too, Delta Series, which I'm very happy with. I bought some Prussian Blue paint because I go nuts over Prussian Blue. It's honestly my favorite kind of oil paint. You know, it's my favorite color, of course. I bought a protector kit, so brush guards, which, you know, to be honest, I am going to use like no goddamn tomorrow, because these things are awesome, and the brush guard helps keep your, you know, bristles straight, so, yeah, that's pretty self-explanatory, and of course I bought some brushes, so, open this packet up, just to uh, show you guys. So I bought this brush first, a Lenard 9. So this is just for like just doing clouds and just doing like big paint jobs, which I'm quite happy with. So I'm very glad I bought this brush. And of course, I bought some detail brushes, really fine detail brushes. So, oh man, I love the handles of these. So I got this one, I'm not sure if you guys can see it. But, you know, it's a very fine bristle brush. Take the little head off, and we'll just do that. Yeah, I quite like that a lot. And, you know, likewise, this is a 15, slightly bigger. So, zero, um, 15 slash zero. But I just love having a good collection of fine brushes. So these will 100% be added, all these brushes will 100% be added into my collection. But I'm just in love with this brush, mainly because it just feels like an old school kind of brush, which I'm quite interested in. But yeah, and it's French style. I can imagine myself using that quite a bit, actually. Okay, what else is in the box? Now I've got more. Okay, more cardboard. And 
a canvas which is something that I really really do actually need so yeah so we're gonna so this is a premium cotton stretch one we'll get rid of the box because the box is now you hear the crash yeah so the box is you know not, well you know you don't really need the box anymore I'll probably just use it to rip it up and um, do into other things but yeah so this is a cotton stretch canvas so it's not treated on the back but I just love this is what I mainly bought the canvas for because of how thick the wood is because the other painting I'm working on at the moment the one that we're working on together with the fine detail and all that sort of stuff you know it's just just uh, the thin wood just it just leaves marks you know as like depending on how I don't think they were expecting me to go full force with it but yeah but you know we've had a look at all these we'll have a closer look at what's inside this little thing well generally it's just all these little sleeves so you know which is freaking awesome so you put your brush in there and just keeps them well protected and oh i can cut this up too and they stretch pretty far you know we'll put this fellow in put him in backwards because that's how i feel this will work okay and zoop. and now i've got a fully protected paintbrush well, that's bristles going wild okay next again back to the prussian blue i like this brand I always sniff my oil paints. We'll have a good look at it. So we'll put it on my finger if that will allow me to. Okay, we'll do that. Smear it a bit. Yeah, consistency. Find something to dab it on. Just to see how well the colour goes. Use our fingers as a paintbrush. And yeah, spread it out. Doing some old school finger painting. Okay, let's pass that test pretty well. Sorry, kind of ruined one of my drawings that I was working on, but no matter, that is the cost of art, and you can always fix it. But yeah, and of course, even though my hands are a little bit messed up at the moment, I'm very excited about using this little sketchbook. Very excited, but I, don't, I can't touch it now because obviously I've got pain on my fingers. But yeah so oh yes and also another thing i bought like in the shop the other day was some more you know just some more odorless paint thinner my brain literally just legit shut down for like two seconds i was like i was like going in my hand what is this thing so you know but yeah but so far i'm quite happy with the purchase and um, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. And uh, until next time, you know what I'm about to say. Stay creepy.